Hey there, and welcome to this follow-up video about debugging in PHP with Xdebug. So previously we saw that we could use the debugging tools, the step debugger, to go through our code and inspect uh, the state of our program. And we use this uh, feature of going to the debug and then launch uh, or listen for Xdebug that will listen for any request that comes from the browser, probably uh, that is running the website and then we enter the debugger. There is also the other one called uh, launch currently open project or open script. So that will open up the current PHP file here. And we can see that if we make a new breakpoint again here in, in the for loop, uh, you can also click in the bottom of Visual Studio Code. So you can see here launch currently open script. You can select the different configurations. So basically the same as we have over here. So we can click down here and we can see I just want to launch the currently open script. And what that will do is that it will still is going to launch the debugger. And then if we go to the debug console, you can see we also have the terminal and we have problems and output. But if we go to debug console, we now have a view where it displays what is going on with the script, what will be outputted, and we can all directly see that we have gotten to this fun with PHP and debugging. And now it is uh, in the loop here. So if we, first of all, if we click continue here, we can see that it actually prints out what will happen for each iteration in our loop here. So it will go through all the different iterations up to four. It is less than five. So we can see it is four right now and it will print this number and the break every time. So that can also be handy to inspect what is being printed. And then we get an error here, actually, because we have some extra PHP code uh, compared to the last video. And we get an error about an array to string conversion because I have some extra code in here. And if we take a look at this, uh, we have a require that uh, require a file called lib. And if we go into that, we can see it's just a function that will return an array. And if we if you take a look in in PHP, let me see here if we go back here, then we have this error there. And we can also uh, inspect that it has not been initialized yet. And it's because of course we have the breakpoint up here. So if we set a breakpoint for uh, when we have this data here, whoop. And let's just go to that part there. You can see we need to actually go through the loop here first. So, so now we're done with the loop and now it has gone to this part here. And uh, this is the function call that will go to the lib.php file. And if we choose uh, step into, it will take us to the function call, what will happen next. And we haven't set a breakpoint here yet. So step into will just take us to the next line of code that is the line here where we call the function and then we go to the first line in the function. So we can see we have the array and we can say, uh, let's see here, step into, it will go to the next line. And now we have a clear uh, indication of what is inside this array. We can see the state of the program. Okay, so we can see that it is an array here now. So if we go back, so we can see I'm just outputting I'm just echoing out uh, the array. I'm not echoing anything about uh, what index in the array I should uh, output. So if we, let's take, let's just take zero first here because we have an array here now. So let's just rerun it. We can launch the currently open script here. So we have this, I think this can be removed, this uh, breakpoint here. Let's just go further on. Then we are here again, it has been initialized. And we can see here, if we look at the last part of the debug console, it says fun. And that should match if we go take a look in the lib, the first element is fun. Okay, so we have a really clear indication of what the state is, if it has been initialized, if it has not been initialized, and you can both do it inside Visual Studio Code. You can also run it from, from uh, a browser. 
and the reason why it's not uh, interrupting uh, Visual Studio Code here is because we have not set the debugging to start but I could do this, I could start the debugger and then I could refresh it and then we have the normal uh, execution of the debugging where we can see our breakpoint. Okay, I hope it makes sense that we have these two different ways of debugging. We can either launch the script from within inside Visual Studio Code and we can inspect the state. We can also listen or xdebug for another client to run the website and then intercept it and then debug it from there. Okay, I hope you make this work and uh, have fun with this. Bye-bye.